Greetings, friends, and welcome to the Demi JMac the Red Island Shaver coming at you with a midweek video. And today we are going to be shaving with Shannon Soap Company Blood Bath. Yes, an absolute banger of a scent. Been waiting for the weather to kind of change to uh to get into this. It's been kind of cool and not very summer-like here on the Red Island, which is normal. That's that's kind of our normal. <laughs> Our normal shtick, it doesn't usually start getting really warm until mid to end July. Then we'll carry on into August. So, it's normal. That's usually when I really start getting into the summery scents. And uh, the warmer scents, or the scents for the warmer weather, I should say, not the warmer scents. I wear warmer scents most of the year. That's why my collection has a lot of darker, darker fall and winter scents because, well... When you live on an island that's situated off the Atlantic Ocean to Northumberland Strait, Eastern Canada, you don't get a lot of that super high humidity heat. Now, to be fair, it was warm, super warm the other day. Um, yesterday, the day before, I think it topped out at about, with the humidity, we're probably pushing 30, 38 Celsius, so I don't know what that is. I think that's maybe 100 Fahrenheit or just over 100 Fahrenheit. So, you know, we do get the warmer weather, just it's not that prevalent. And it comes in spurts. Like yesterday was rainy and a little bit muggy, but kind of cool. Today is sunny, but there's a good breeze from the north, which cools everything down. And, um, Tomorrow's going to be hot as I'll get out, apparently. And, uh, yeah, so that being said, I don't have a ton of summery scents. I do get to use them. I really enjoy them. So, yes, Shannon's Bloodbath. This was done for Ed Munoz over in Lather and Blade, who famously, every time does a live shave, usually ends up filleting his face. And yeah, it's just a nice one. It's uh, strawberry, thyme, and lemonade. Get a look at that pour. Very, very deep red. So uh, they do warn on the label that this can stain a brush. Brush I'm choosing today is a synthetic with darker tips. This is my uh, brush that was handmade for me by Maddie Lindholm. If this one gets stained, I'm not too concerned because even if the knot did turn a bit red, it would actually blend in with that wood really nice and I think it would, it would look nice. So this will probably be the brush I use with this soap just in case. So I do believe aesthetically it will look good. So how is everybody doing out there? Everybody having a great week thus far? Mine's going pretty good. I have an interesting topic of discussion today, I think. And yes, there's going to be some fishing talk. I know I know, I talk about fishing a lot, but you know, fishing is my other passion other than wet shaving. It's really the only two hobbies I kind of have. And uh, I'm really not getting out fishing as much as I would like to. So... I talk about it a lot because I, I watch a lot of fishing content. So, yeah, we'll get into uh, I'll get into that as this uh, as this shave progresses. Grab some of this proto lather. This is in the chupacabra base. I have how many Shannon soaps do I have now? Four, five, five. I think I have five Shannon soaps. Each one is in the chupacabra base. It's a fantastic goat milk. Uh, shaving soap base, good stuff. Tallow, goat milk. It's great, great, great suds. Digging the scent on this, very, very strawberry heavy. Very strawberry heavy. And actually, I was talking to Shannon from Shannon's, and she mentioned that this is one of her favorite, or this is her favorite strawberry scent from where she gets her scents from. So, yeah, it's really good. It's really, really good. Very vibrant strawberry. Very fresh, almost like I just picked the fruit out of the field and uh, bit into one. One of those nice island strawberries. Oh, don't even get me started on those. So good. And uh, a little bit of pop from the lemonade. Some herbaceousness from the thyme to kind of round this all out. Very, very nice. Scent strength is a good solid medium. I'm pegging this at about, I'd peg this about five and a half, six, somewhere around there. 
Very, very good. Reason for its dark color, this is to hide the blood when you cut yourself shaving while using, if you're using Shannon's, because as Brian likes to say, bleeding is bad for the brand. So this is designed to hide any claret you spill during your shave, thus not hurting the image of the brand according to Brian, which I mean, it's cool, it's funny, it's cheeky. I like it, I dig it. Brian and Shannon are good people. And they're funny too, they're really funny. Actually, they, uh, uh, they sent this out to me. I think, I think I cut myself or something on the shave on a video. I actually draw, drew blood for the rare time that I do. And, uh, and they sent this out for me. Oh, that was really cool. And I'm digging, digging the vibe and the scent. So, all right, I'm just about done with the face lather here. A little late in the video to mention this or the process, but there is chapters down below. If you don't want to watch the face lathering, um, you can skip to all the parts of the video you want. I think there's a little bit of menthol in this too. I never checked. I think there's a slight bit of menthol in this. Yeah, there is. There's got to be because my face is feeling a little bit refreshed. Nice. Okay, that's that's cool. I didn't even notice that on the label. Hmm. Of course, I'm not wearing any glasses, so I can't read the label anyway. <laughs> oh, very nice. All right, but anyway, yes, uh, back on topic. Chapters. There's chapters, so you can skip to whatever parts of the video uh, you wish to skip to. If you don't want to watch the face lathering process, that's fine. If you don't want to watch, you know, the first pass, if you only want to wa want to watch the money pass, um, you can skip right to that. If you just want to skip right to the final thoughts and uh, leave a comment and be on your way, you can skip right to that as well. It's all good in the hood, my friends. Razor for today is the MLS 21. It's a beautiful handcrafted stainless steel razor made by Matty Lindholm. For the first use, Wisdom Matt, I liked this razor with the feather blade that Matty sent. It was pretty good. Um, but Wizomets have become my favorite blade, so I'm anticipating a very, very good result with the People's Blade in here, so we'll get into it. Uh, three days of growth, and we'll get into the topic of today's discussion, which is, do you think Amazon, whether American or Canadian or UK or wherever in the world you are viewing this, do you think they maybe intentionally mark things is almost out of stock in an effort to get you to buy it and here's what brings up this topic of discussion so uh there's a fellow i follow on uh on youtube his name is nrv outdoors uh he's a trout angler in virginia in the united states of america and uh, a really good angler at that. Ton of tips. Great fellow to watch. He's got his little catchphrases. He's very enthusiastic. So, um, anyway, I was watching a video of his from a, uh, I don't know if it was recently or if it was from a year ago. I think it was from a year ago. Something tells me it was from a year ago. And he's talking about like his gear and stuff and what he uses. And I noticed he always wears a vest when he's fishing. Now fishing vests are very popular with um, fly fishermen because a lot of times fly fishermen are out wading in, in the streams, wearing chest waders or hip waders. They're out in the water. They need to have everything with them and attached. Anyway, without making a long story short, this guy wears a vest. He mentioned the vest that he wears in the video. Of course, I go to the Googles and I find it, and I find, lo and behold, they have them on Amazon Canada, including the one that he's wearing. Uh, it's a camo one. It's got a camo pattern on it. Looks cool. I'm a sucker for camouflage. I cannot lie. So, um, and it's only like 45 bucks, which is cool. And the reason I want a vest is it's modular. I can attach stuff to it. It's got built-in rod holders, so you can strap your rod to your vest. It's your hands free because you know, with my eyesight the way it is. If I'm out fishing, I take my regular, I take my glasses with me because I need to put them on to do tackle changes and everything has like, gotta be like right here in front of my face to see what I'm doing. So if I'm not trying to juggle the rod, then I got my hands free 
to do stuff. You can attach attach stuff to them. A lot of fishermen will attach a net to their to their back with a, a magnetic uh, pull apart. So basically, you just reach back, you grab your net, you use it, you put it back up behind your back, and let go. And the magnets will attract each other, and it'll it'll stick back up behind your back. And you can attach other all your other tools on zingers, like retractable keychain thingies, to your vest. That way everything is attached to you, you can't float off, you can't lose it. And I want that modular set up for the two styles of fishing I do. I can have two sets of tackle and smaller pocket-sized boxes. One set up for bass fishing, one set up for trip fishing. So anyway, without going on about this too, too long, I've noticed there was only, there was only so many available uh, on Amazon Canada. And keep in mind, this video was a year old. So this video was a year old and you know, we're kind of getting on into the into the fishing season here. And, you know, I'll, I'll check it to see what the stock is. One day there was like five left. Then the next thing there's like four left. And then there's three left. And then today there was one left. And it's like, oh, buy it now before it's out of stock. So I'm wondering... Do they intentionally do that? Just to get people to buy it. Because now this, to be fair to Amazon, this is not coming from Amazon. It's a third party seller that it's fulfilled through Amazon. So I can't really rag on Amazon for this, but it's the third party seller, you know. Do they have like a hundred units of this and, you know, they just do that and let it get down to one unit left. You know, and then that sells out, and then the next thing there'll be like five more in stock, right? Like like magic, uh, instant restock. So I'm just I'm curious what people's thoughts are on that, because I mean, if I had the money right at the moment, they would have totally got me, because I'd be hitting order. Even my wife was like, just order it, and I'm like, well, I can't, because I'm buying a bass rod at the end of the month. Uh, I only have so much money. Uh, you know, to build uh, this rig up. So I got to get the bass rod first and get some tackle for that. And then I could start working on my dream vest setup. I'll have to pick away at it over the next few months, I guess. I'll have to get the order the vest, buy a net, buy all the accoutrements. Would it surprise you that I already have everything listed out and itemized and priced? <laughs> Because I do. <laughs> but you're yeah, very curious. Now the thing. I mean I guess I'll be able to figure it out myself. You know if it sells out. And then I look at the. Uh, look at the listing again a couple days later. And see if they miraculously have some in stock. Right. But anyway. Enough about that. That's, that's my question. Let me know in the comments down below. What you guys think on that. Could be a little bit of tin foil on my part. Could be a little bit of validity. Who knows? I know one thing, this shave is going really, really nicely. I think my angle was a little bit off on that second pass across the, uh, on that angle pass across the neck. It was feeling like it was tugging a little bit, but I think that was on me, not the razor, because I, I flattened out the angle quite a bit. And, uh, This razor seems to be shaving just fine. I was feeling kind of toothy there, but like I said, I think my angle was too steep. I really should use this razor for the better part of a week, uh, like every shave, and just dial it in. Pull some of this lather down. One little spot right here. I will say this Wizomet is performing wonderfully with the correct angle. The soap, I mean, the Shannon soaps 
Uh, what what do you say about Shannon's? Uh, it's a stellar product. Always has been, always will be. I know I didn't talk too much about the soap during the shave, but I mean, it, it speaks for itself, right? If you can, one of my benchmarks is if I can just I, uh, drone on about stuff during the shave and not have to really worry about how the product is performing on my face. To me, that's the mark of a good product right there. Did a quick rinse on the brush. Let's see. Yeah, no staining there. Looks just the way it started with, so that's good to know. It's probably safe to use with most any soap. I am feeling a nice little tingle on the face from uh, a little bit of menthol that's in there. So it is definitely mentholated. That is not a that's not an irritation tingle. A little bit of menthol. It's very nice. Face feels good. I dig it. I really dig it. Another another winner from Shannon. And this tub of soap will probably last me the rest of my life because. This will be a, uh, a summer soap, or maybe the odd winter shave, but yeah, we'll see. Very nice. Felt good to get that, uh, that fur removed off my face. So, I'm not really getting a ton of residual scent. I'm getting a little bit of strawberry. Maybe a little bit of lemon. And we're going to go with this. Male Grooming Frank and Lime. I figured this was a good... A good choice. I didn't. I didn't sniff them side by side, but this has got like lime and different herbs, and uh, very herbaceous, very citrusy, which I think will blend nicely with the strawberry lemonade thyme vibe we got going on. Little tingle, instantaneously gone though. Oh, yeah, it was a nice shave, and we're gonna get some of this right on the collar of the shirt. This is a citrus based scent. This one doesn't last all that long. Put a little bit through the hair. Make sure you're in the back of the neck because I want every opportunity for this uh, this scent to last. And the citrus scents, you, you know, you kind of gotta, kinda gotta spread them around to get them to, to last for, you know, a good chunk of the day. So that's gonna do it for me, my friends. Uh, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed that one. Thank you so much for tuning in. Let me know in the comments below what you think about uh, some some of the uh, the shenanigans possibly going on on Amazon. I'm really interested to hear what you guys think on that topic. And that's gonna do it for me. So until next time, my friends, be safe, be kind to one another, and have a great day. Need better shave. We're gonna catch you in the next one. Peace.